Good day Grade 8, this is Miss George and today we're going to have a lesson on algebraic equations, right? So more specifically, um, when we're solving algebraic equations, there is two ways in which we can solve for the value of the unknown variable and that is by inspection and the next method will be by balancing your equations, okay? But this lesson will focus on solving for the unknown variable unknown variable by inspection okay great so firstly I need to tell you that the aim of this whole um, topic is that we need to be able to find the value of the variable right so within algebraic equations there will only be one you will there will only be one variable in the whole equation so it will either be X or A or any letter of the alphabet for that matter okay algebraic equations unlike algebraic expressions as an equal to sign right so let's get started if we look at our first example I have X plus 5 is equal to 10 right so the method of inspection tells us that we need to solve for the value of X without doing any calculations. It should be clear to us what must be added to 5 to give you 10, right? So when you are on primary school, the teacher would often just draw a line, say plus 5 is equal to 10. And she would say, what is the unknown or what is the, the missing value, right? And you needed to fill that in so that it the solution is true so that your left hand side is equal to your right hand side of your equation so we're doing exactly the same thing the only difference is that we now have the variable in place of where you had a line that represented a missing value okay so we want our left hand side to be equal to our right hand side and the value of x will make the solution true okay so therefore x should be clear for you to see should be equal to 5 so therefore 5 plus 5 is equal to 10 and you can check once you've gotten um, once you've determined the value of x you can check by substituting so you can say then 5 in place of x plus 5 is equal to 10 all right I hope you find that a bit easier right so let's look at another example if I have x plus 8 is equal to 15 right I should then ask myself what plus 8 will give me 15 okay and I hope that's easy for all of you to see that X should be equal to 7 in order to make our left hand side of our equation equal to our right hand side okay great perfect let's do another example okay so this is our next example I have 2 to the power of a is equal to 4 now remember I told you that the variable doesn't always have to be X okay it can be any letter of the alphabet right so then we need to know 2 to the power of what will give me 4 and you all should know your squares by now because we've done it up until the number 12 so you should know that 2 to the power 2 gives me 4 therefore it should be easy for you to see that the variable a will be equal to 2 okay I hope that was easy enough for you to see so let's move on to an exercise right and then you can test your understanding okay so let's try to do this exercise all on your own so you can pause the video do the exercise and then we can work through the answers together okay Right, go ahead and try. So let's look at the answers together. Right, if you look at the first equation, you would see that a plus 2 must give you 8. So what plus 2 will give you 8? And that answer would be 6. So therefore a should be equal to 6. Okay, I hope you all found that to be easy. Let's look at number 2. 
b minus 3 is equal to 5 so the question is what minus 3 is equal to 5 okay and we all should know that the answer to b will be 8 okay because 8 minus 3 gives you 5 Okay, the next one is x plus 4 is equal to 13. So therefore, the question is what plus 4 will give me 13? And x therefore equals to 9 because 9 plus 4 gives you 13. And if you struggle to see this, maybe try to use your number line. That could guide you along the way. Then number 4... A bit different number four looks a bit different but we should know that the coefficient of our variable the operation between the two is multiplication okay so then the question is what should x be so that when I multiply it by two it gives me six okay what should the value of x be so that when I multiply it by 2 it gives me 6 and therefore x is equal to 3 because 3 multiplied by 2 gives you 6 okay the next one looks different as well but we all should see that all we need to do here is ask ourselves what divided by 15 will give me 3 or 15 divided by what gives me 3 okay and we all should know that 15 divided by 5 will give me 3 because 5 goes into 15 thrice right 5 10 15 and if we struggle we need to brush up on our times table okay I hope you all understood this and remember solving for X or solving for any variable for that matter by inspection you will be able to see the equation will be simple enough so that you can see what the value of the variable should be without doing an equation okay so in the next lesson we can move on to a more complex equation we would use the method of balancing equations in order to solve for the value of the unknown variable enjoy the rest of your day bye bye